I am the most beautiful woman and goddess of Olympus, daughter of Zeus and Dion. I am the goddess of love and my beauty and beauty and sexuality. My father Zeus thought that my beauty would strike jealousy into the hearts of the gods and decided to throw me inside a volcano where I was forced to marry Hephaestus, the god of forging and blacksmith. I am Aphrodite. Not only has my beauty been praised by the gods, but I've been chosen the most beautiful woman by one of noble blood, Paris. It was his decision that caused one of the major wars in history of mankind, the Trojan War. I am the goddess of love, so I decided that it was okay if I had spread my love with other people that were not my husband. So, some of them were humans and some of them were gods. People mostly know me because I had an affair with Ares, the god of war. We had lots of kids, more than four. <laughs> and he wasn't even my husband, so what does it say about me? I don't know. <laughs> and I also had affairs with Poseidon, Hermes, Adonis, and Achilles, and cheese. Okay. <laughs> so don't feel special. <laughs> From my affairs with Achilles, <laughs> we created a son that was born to be a hero, Aeneas. Although he became a hero with a little of my help. Okay. Mortals who try to mess with me never end up the way that they want to mess. End up with, like. One time a foolish queen said that her daughter, Maria, was more beautiful than me. I was dis disgusted by the idea. And then, <laughs> so I decided to put my rage into the subject. I made a spell that made Mariah fall in love with his dad, with her dad. His father, her father was repugnated by the idea, but the spell was too big and strong. She decided to, to dress herself as a prostitute and go into her bed at night, his bed at night. After some time, her father realized what was happening, but it was too late. She was already pregnant with her father's son. So, his father was completely outraged and he just threw her out of the house. She gave birth to a son, Adonis. See, this is why you don't mess with me. So, well, I was generous, you know. I was passing by and I saw him and I said, Ooh, I'm going to take him to my best friend, Persephone. I didn't know the mistake that I was making, because when he grew up, he became very handsome, and I wanted him back. So, of course, Persephone and I fought and discussed about this, because she had raised him, and I was only the person that brought her to him, to her. So what happened was that we split the time, she got four months, and I got eight. Of course, one of my lovers, Ares, was completely outraged because of this and decided to become an animal and castrate Adonis. Unfortunately, he died of oh, blood loss. I was extremely sad and almost crying, <laughs> but I couldn't do anything else about it. I am not the most smart goddess, not the most humble goddess, or maybe not the most royal goddess, but I am the most beautiful goddess, and everyone, everyone wants to be with me. I am Aphrodite. Thank you. I turned